And now let's talk about Pez. Yes. After all, according to the people running a special event at Renninger's Market, we are living in the great state of Pennsylvania. Yes, the event called Pennsylvania started in the early 2000s. Now, after a break last year, it is back. Caitlin Reardon has more. It's true what they say. There's something for everyone. It's definitely something that, I mean, it's just an amazing thing to collect. I love it. He's talking about Pez. Yes, the candy, but more particularly the little plastic dispensers that come in a plethora of designs, colors, characters, and themes spanning decades. Either Mickey Mouse or Casper was the first hat on a Pez. And it's always handy when it's time for Pez candy. Pez originated back in the late 1940s, early 50s, according to David Robison, co-host of Pezylvania, a gathering of Pez enthusiasts. It was originally a peppermint to help people stop smoking but grew into an entire subculture. It really took off from there. You know, it just it rolled out through the 60s, 70s. And these are actually the older packs, which were easier because they have this separate foil. So Pennsylvania, which will take place in the White Room at Renninger's Market Saturday, was originally started by a man named Ralph, who owned a Pez store in the marketplace. He held the first several gatherings, but died in 2012. It was a few years before Robison and his wife decided to take it over. And visitors, collectors, dealers come from all around now to participate. They range in price from 50 cents all the way up to 10 or $15,000. It depends on a number of different factors. Everything from like late 70s down, I mean, they got value because nobody kept them. Robison says the most he spent on Pez dispensers was $6,000 for a set of three. He says it's a passion and a hobby, and the affectionately named Pez heads are like a family. There's a lot of new people getting into the convention and in the Pez, which is great. It really helps keep the hobby alive. Caitlin Reardon, 69 News. Gotta have some big bucks for some of that uh -oh. stuff, huh? All right.